welcome to St. Albans and Merry Christmas from our family to yours. We are celebrating today one of the most joyous days in the whole calendar, the day we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And as we have been preparing over the past month, the month of Advent, as we have been adding one candle at a time, the light has grown. Even as the month is getting darker and the days shorter, the light is getting stronger and warmer. And tonight, having lit four candles over four weeks of Advent, we now light the Christmas candle, a light in dark times. Let us pray. Gracious God, we welcome your light into our world, bringing warmth where we are cold, light where we are lost in darkness, and hope even in dark and frigid times. Bless this candle. May it burn as a sign of your love for us love that would be born as one of us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The story of Christmas is the story that begins with a young woman named Mary. Mary was engaged. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. He was of the house of David, but the kingship had long since passed from his family. Mary, one day, was visited by an angel, the angel Gabriel, who said to her, Do not be afraid. Blessed are you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. You will bear a son, a son who will be the Son of God. Mary said, How can this be? I'm not yet married. And the angel said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Emmanuel, God with us. The angel departed from her. Joseph was nervous about marrying Mary. She was pregnant. He didn't know if it was right to marry her. And so he pondered and he thought of perhaps leaving her. Then the angel of the Lord visited him as well. 
in a dream and said, Do not be afraid, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife, for the child to be born will be holy. And so Joseph decided he would marry her. Now at that time there was a census, a great counting of all the people. And the emperor declared that everyone should go to their own town to be counted. Now because Joseph was of the house of David, he had to go to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted. And so they made a journey there. Although Mary was very, very pregnant and ready to have the child. Nevertheless, they made the journey. When they got to Bethlehem, they found there was no room in the inn for travelers. There was no more space. So many people were traveling to be counted in the census. But they were allowed to stay in the stable. the stables where the animals were kept. And so there they went. And it was there that Mary gave birth to her firstborn child. And having no proper crib or cradle, no proper bed for him, she laid him in the manger. Now a manger is a food trough for animals where they go to eat. And so the bread that came down from heaven was laid in the trough for food in the city of Bethlehem, which means the house of bread. At that time, there were shepherds in the field watching over their flocks of sheep by night. And as they kept watch, the angel of the Lord appeared before them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring good news. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of swaddling clothes and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a whole host from heaven, singing glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place. And so they journeyed. And they came to the place and found, just as the angel had told them, the child lying in the manger. And they told all that had been said to them by the angel. And Joseph was amazed. But Mary treasured these words and kept them in her heart. That night, when God was born as one of us, a star appeared in the sky, a bright star that had not been before. And that night, in the east, magi, wise men who studied the sky, saw the star, and they knew what the star meant. They knew the king had been born. And so they spoke to one another, and they decided they would journey to meet this king and to bring him gifts, gifts of gold, because he was a king, frankincense, because he would be a high priest 
and myrrh. Myrrh because he would be anointed for burial. These three traveled and eventually arrived and paid homage to the child and laid down their gifts before him. This is what we celebrate on Christmas. By the good news of your salvation, brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. By the mystery of the word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. By the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. By the manifestation of the King of glory to the shepherds and the magi, Hear us, O Lord. By the submission of the maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hear us. Good Jesu, born as at this time a little child for love of us, be born in us that we may be little children in love of you and hang on your love as on mother's bosom, trustfully, lovingly, peacefully, hushing all our cares in love of you. May the strength of Joseph be with you. May the courage of Mary be with you. May the wonder 
of the shepherds be with you. May the insight and the wisdom of the Magi be with you. And may the child born among us bless and keep you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now let us finish singing where you are at home, sing along to Jingle Bell. 